to write and in, in this chapter right uh, we are going to discuss about the sebi sebi act 1992 sebi act lo sebi ni one of five parts kadi vachu eskunam sebi investigation adjudication sat penalties miscellaneous right there are six parts we will discuss one by part one by one first of all we are going to discuss about uh, sebi members next sebi members lo what is the constitution what is the terms of the members how they are that how they are going to be terminated and can they be resigned what is the removal grounds for these members what is the participation rights and what are the meetings of that sebi members can be held what is the validation of the act right in investigation part we will going to discuss about the grounds powers seizure of documents cease and desist order adjudication in adjudication we are going to discuss about adjudication powers and what are the factors for the deciding by the adjudicant authority for the quantum of penalty and next one is powers of sebi to enhance the penalty and next is sat sat we are going to discuss about establishment composition qualification of members tenure of the members and resignation removal vacancy appeal to sat that is security separate tribunal and appeal to supreme court that is house supreme court right here the structure is right sebi sebi next he is sebi adjudicating authority or investigation authority next one is the sat and next is supreme court there is no high court involved in this particular thing and next one is our penalties that is our section 15 series and miscellaneous some of the, some of the miscellaneous parts right coming to our first topic that is sebi sebi members sebi members sebi members the constitution members are 1 2 5 1 one is a one is a chairperson and two is a two members of the among the officials of the ministry of central government dealing with the finance and administration of the companies act 1946 right one is a chairman two is members of central government dealing with the finance and administration and another one is a member of a official of rbi and five other members are among those five members at least three are whole time members right and coming to the who shall be the members members what is the qualification of members members shall be having the ability integrity and standing that is our ais ability integrity and standing to whom the capacity having the dealing with the problems dealing with the means they are the particular members of the sebi because they should have the knowledge of a securities market ability st- integrity standing and have knowledge about the securities market special knowledge of the securities market or oh, they have special knowledge and experience of the law of finance our subjects our uh, group one subjects and ibc subjects ec- finance economics law accountancy administration other discipline in the opinion of whom who is going to appoint these uh, sebi members central government uh, in the opinion of central government is deemed fit for this uh, useful for sebi this is the qualification right 1 2 1 5 qualification and coming to terms of office and other uh, conditions of service uh, for the terms of office uh, in first we have to see the chairman and the whole time member shall be shall be a person who does not or will not have a financial or other interest as likely to affect the prejudicial functions of his chairman or member means chairman or whole, whole time direct whole time member shall be will not will not have will not or does not means present or future he should not have a financial interest which will affect his functions as a such position right and also it is a uh, tenure what is the tenure of chairman and every whole time member the tenure of chairman and every whole time member is 5 uh, years and it can be appointed it can be reappointed after such, such such period and also he cannot be in that position if he attains the age of 65 years what is the 5 years can be reappointed 65 years and what is the termination the termination power point is central government have the right to, to terminate the service of chairman or any five members means central government has the right to terminate only chairman or any five members in this case central government does not have the power to terminate the two members of the appointed by the ministry of central government which have knowledge of finance and administration and one member of rbi these uh, three members central government cannot uh, terminate only the chairman other five members uh, central government has the power to terminate for that the central government has to give to notice uh, three months notice shall be given and also three months salary and allowance shall be given to the particular members who is going to terminate right and resignation coming to resignation whether the member can be resi- can resign by himself or not yes a, a chairman or any member of the sebi board can be resigned by himself by giving a proper notice to whom who is appointed the sebi members general government notice also notice also to central government in not less than three months notice in writing it shall be given right and coming to the removal of members uh, from office uh, what are the grounds for the removal of members from the office uh, there are four grounds we'll have a t- shortcut here icu removal right icu means insolvent means a person is adjudicated as insolvent means if a person is declared as insolvent if at any time in the lifetime he is not eligible for appointment as member of sebi icu c means convicted by convicted of any offense in the opinion of the central government having involved moral turpitude and coming to the uh, you that is unsound mind declared by the competent court icu abused means he person has abused his position in such a way that to continue his for which determined the public interest right these are the four point in fourth point that is abused position the where before removal opportunity of being had should be given that is the audio alteration pattern should be given the, that is the principle of natural justice should be given and coming to the meetings uh, the meetings of the sebi shall be kept uh, with such prescribed rules as may be discussed by the 
prescribed rules there are there are some prescribed rules when the meeting is going to be held and where it is going to be held at that place we have to hold the meeting right if there is a chairman for example here it is very important point is differ some other points if the chairman of sebi is uh, failure to attend the meeting then the other members among them has to choose a member to add a, to act as a chairman right to present at the meeting to present at the meeting that is a uh, one important point here but other point there is different senior member is there but here among them just they have to choose and also the decision by the majority means the sebi board has taken the decision has to want to take decision then the decision should be majority if there is a tie in the decision chairman has to ca- cast his casting vote as second secondary vote right and coming the members not to participate in meetings of uh, in certain cases means the members of the sebi can not participate in the meetings where if uh, if we, that member is a director of a company and as in that position the director is directly or indirectly having a pecuniary relationship for the matter which is going to bring brought to the notice of sebi for discussion in that case that particular member shall has to disclose his interest in the particular uh, company before the before the to sebi and sebi has to record those things uh, in his proceeding and that member shall not part, take part in action in the deliberation and the decision making of that particular item particular company decision right and coming to the vacancies uh, vacancies not to invalidate the proceedings of sebi what are the vacancies not to invalidate the proceedings of sebi hmm. there are three points are here a vacancy in or any defect in the constitution of sebi or a defect in the appointment of sebi acting as a, acting as a member of sebi or irregularity in the procedure of sebi for example see no act of sebi can be invalidated if there is a vacancy in the membership of sebi or there is a defect in the constitution of sebi or there is a defect in appointment of members of sebi or there is a defect in the procedure in the third point the defect in the procedure point that uh, that procedure shall not affect the merit of the case in that case the act shall not be treated as invalid means the act shall be valid right right and coming to our next part that is investigation investigation we have grounds powers seize and desist order seizure of documents right and coming to the grounds powers of sebi to order for investigation means the sebi can order for investigation uh, of any of anything in the securities market uh, if it feels the following thing if it if it has a reasonable ground to believe what there are two conditions the sebi has reasonable ground to believe that uh, the the transaction in the securities market or or what are detrimental to the investors means for the production of investors on sebi has established for that reason if the transaction in the securities market are detrimental to the interest of the investors or the securities market then sebi can go for investigation the first point is detrimental to the investor or security market the second point is that any intermediary or any person is doing the transactions in the securities market that or violative of any of the provisions of this act rules regulations made under here there are two points that is detrimental to the interest of the investors or securities market and second point is violations is there any intermediary or any person connected with the security market has in transactions which is violated to the act or regulations right these are the grounds for sebi can order for investigation and other duties of the directors or persons of the recognized that is the intermediary every manager managing director officer or other employee of a company and every intermediary shall be duty to bound to produce the what of the information that investigating authority has asked due to to produce there are two things due to to produce what of the information investigation authority has asked and also to furnish the information investigation authority relevant for necessary purpose of investigation means first one is to produce the investigation authority books or documents and also he should furnish what of the additional information that asked by the investigation authority for the purpose of investigation right and next coming to the powers what are the powers of uh, investigation authority what are the powers of investigation authority investigation uh, sebi has ordered for investigation and sebi investigation authority has come into the picture and what are the powers of that investigation authority right the investigation authority can read in the books of that particular uh, company for uh, registers books registers and documents uh, and uh, record for 6 months it can take it can take into custody for 6 months again after 6 months it can again call for again, for another custody if the investigation is not completed that's another point for example the person who is giving the books uh, to the that investigation authority shall if the, he can ask for certified copies then the sebi or investigation authority can allow him to take for certified copies right and next one is about the examination and what the investigation authority can examine any intermediary any person connected with the security market uh, for examination and what and next one is to take notes on examination means what of the notes given by that particular in- inquiry such notes uh, shall be in writing and such notes shall be read out to the person and may be signed by that person and in future it can be taken for uh, legal proceedings right coming to the seizure documents of the investigation authority seizure seizure means closing closing the books of accounts taking the books of accounts from the custody of the commissions for a, for the seizure of documents the investigating authority investigating authority of sebi has to file an application to the magistrate or judge of of such designated court in mumbai as a, as notified by the central government for this purpose of seizure of books of accounts 
right the investigation authority has to make an application to whom the magistrate or the judge of uh, such designated court in mumbai it is highest point mumbai as well as the central government for seizure of the books right and the such application may be made if the region <coughs> the such as application shall only to be made by the investigating authority if such investigation authority has reason to go to believe that the books registered other documents of the company are shall be right to any intermediate persons associated with the securities market may be dma yeah, that is destroyed mutilated altered falsified or secreted that is a three condition if the, if the investing authority has reasonable of reason reason reasonable ground to believe that the books registered on the documents have been dmafs that is destroyed mutilated altered secreted falsified then only you can make an application to the magistrate or judge of designated court in mumbai right and the judge has been application has been filed and the application has been accepted by the magistrate or judge then what are the powers of that magistrate or judge means the powers the, the magistrate or the or the judge of the designated court shall give the powers to the investigating authorities to enter to such to seize to enter to enter with such assistance means with the police to seize the place to, to search for the places for the books of accounts and to seize such books uh, as the investigating authority considers necessary okay, to enter to such to seize and next to the retention of books of accounts how many for how many years that uh, books of accounts seized can be retained by the investigating authority the investigating authority may keep the books uh, until the investigation proceedings is completed right once the investigation proceedings are completed the investigating authority has to return the books and has to inform to the magistrate or the judge of the designated court regarding the same and before returning in the books the investigating authority if necessary he can place identification marks right and coming to our next point that is last point in this particular limb that is the cease and desist order cease and desist order means cease stop desist means not to repeat the cease and desist order shall be passed by the cb if it see for committing or causing violation again of the act and rules there under there are two cases where cease and desist order can be passed by the cb the cb before passing this has to inquire such that uh, whether any person has violated or is going to violate is likely to violate that in present has violated or in future he will violate if the cb has to cb shall inquire that any person is uh, violated or is likely to violate the provisions of this act rules regulations there under and the second point is uh, the cb shall not pass his registered order unless uh, for the pub- listed public company or the public company which is going to be listed same like our first point violated likely to violate listed likely to be listed means unless it has to unless it, the, unless there are two conditions for this uh, listed company that public company has in either has incurred itself in its insider trading or market uh, manipulation only in these two conditions the sebi can order for cease and desist order there are two conditions violated likely to violate uh, listed likely to listed insider trading market manipulation right and coming to next part that is adjudication point adjudication point we have powers uh, and factors and power to sebi to enhance the penalty right who will the adjudicating authority is appointed by the sebi why the sebi has been appointed the adjudicating authority shall be the not below the rank of division chief may, appoint, may be appointed as adjudicating officer the adjudicating officer is uh, appointed for the purpose of holding inquiry and imposing penalties what is the main uh, objective of the adjudicating authority he is holding inquiries and impose penalties and before uh, before imposing any penalty the adjudicating officer shall has to give the reasonable opportunity of being here to the other person that is the uh, principle of natural justice shall prevail then the powers of the adjudicating authority is same as the first civil civil court procedures that is uh, he can uh, he can summon and attend for attend attendance for uh, enforce for attendance of any person acquainted with the facts and circumstances of the case and he has a power he has uh, power to receive evidence and compel for production of books of accounts and he can impose penalties right what are the factors to be taken into account while uh, adjudicating the quantum of penalty this is important there are three points are there disproportionate gain or unfair advantage and uh, amount of loss uh, cost or to nature of default see before uh, before imposing the penalty the adjudicating magistrate has to consider three, three factors and he has to impose the penalty what are the, what are the three factors the amount of ad- disproportionate gain or an unfair ad- unfair advantage made as a result of the default the amount of loss caused to the investor or group of investors as a result of the default the repeated nature of the default right and next one is the power of sebi to enhance the liability the sebi has the power to enhance the liability imposed by the adjudicating authority when the sebi can call for the records for examination of any proceedings of the adjudication right if the sebi considers uh, reasonable ground to believe that uh, the order passed by the adjudicating officer is erroneous and it is not uh, in the interest of the securities market uh, then it can go for inquiry after going for inquiry if it is justified that uh, it can imp- it can enhance the penalty 
right if an enhance the penalty that is of same our india that principle of natural history that opportunity being hand shall be given to the person right and sebi shall not uh, see there are the when till when the sebi has a power to en- enforce that uh, is enhance the penalty the time is a uh, 3 months from the order passed by the adjudicating authority or disposal of appeal under section 15t that is disposal of 15t is our side the secretary appellate tribunal after the passing of adjudicating authority if any person has feels aggrieved he can go to the sat means <coughs> the sebi can enhance the penalty imposed by the ao that is adjudicating officer within 3 months from the date of order or disposal of appeal and section 15d whichever is uh, earlier right and cognizance of offense means uh, in sebi any other any offense has taken then no court shall take the cognizance of offense unless until the sebi itself has uh, made a complaint to the court right this is the cognizance of offenses right and the next one, <coughs> and our next point is that the establishment of secretary secretary separate tribunal secretary separate tribunal will be established by the <coughs> will be established by the central government it is exercise and jurisdiction powers of uh, for the central government will say that uh, secretary administration separate tribunal <coughs> will have its uh, jurisdiction coming to the composition what is the composition of a security separate tribunal we will call it here from here sat what is the composition of a sat for example sat there are three members presiding officer judicial member and technical member right these by notification determine these are the three members for the sat that is security separate tribunal what are the functions the function same has been defined in the notification by the central government while forming its establishment the same function it has to follow and the same powers also has been made the same notification right sat generally sat will sit in, in the form of benches means uh, one or more mem- or two or more member mem- two or more members will sit and will decide according to the one matter the how many members uh, minimum members shall be there in the bench the presiding officer is must and one judicial member is must and one technical member is must and uh, then they can have any matter right generally the bench will sit on mumbai see the sebi is mainly concentrating on the mumbai right just remember that the benches of sat shall ordinarily sit at mumbai and may also at other places uh, in central government uh, in consultation with the presiding officer notify right if the presiding officer uh, may transfer mean the presiding officer may transfer the judicial member of one bench to another bench or also same like technical member of one bench to another bench what are the qualifications of this uh, three persons uh, that, uh, that is the presiding officer judicial member technical member the qualifications of uh, that is the judicial that is the presiding officer coming to presiding officer a person should not be qualified for appointment of presiding officer for sat unless he is or has been there are three conditions first we will see the judge of supreme court or the chief justice of high court or the judge of high court for at least 7 years that is the 7 years condition is only for the last point that is the chief judge of judge, sorry the judge of high court what are the three conditions for the presiding officer the judge of supreme court the chief justice of uh, high court the judge of high court for at least 7 years and come into qualification of judicial member judicial member uh, will take the last point uh, from the presiding officer and keep it here see judicial member shall not be person if he has a judge of uh, high court for at least 5 years there it is 7 years here it is 5 years and come into the Uh, qualification of a uh, technical member there are two quali- two qualifications for this technical member a person shall not be shall not be qualified for appointment of technical member unless uh, he or has been has been secretary he should he shall be secretary or additional secretary in the ministry of uh, department of uh, central government or any equivalent post in central government of state government means he shall be secretary or additional secretary of c in cg or ag that is one kind and second condition is uh, is a person of proven ability integrity and standing that is our ais we discuss in the qualification members of uh, sebi that point ais that is ability integrity and standing in special knowledge and professional experience of not less than 15 years in the field of financial sector means the main uh, sat will deal with the financial sector that is like securities market pension funds commodities markets derivatives insurance these are things at least 15 years you should have experience for the two points secretary additional secretary in cg or sg and at least 15 years uh, in uh, ability integrity standing in uh, securities market community market insurance pension fund etc coming to term tenure of office of uh, the presiding officer and uh, technical office technical and judicial member the tenure is generally two terms will be there one term for five year and one term for another five years right he is eligible for appointment there are only two terms just like uh, in our independent director in 149 subsection 4 section and coming to the maximum age uh, in sebi there is 65 years here it is 78 70 years and coming to the resignation in same like sebi here also uh, members of judicial member technical member can make can go for resignation like he can give notice to the central government means he can give notice in writing to the central government resigning his office the president but here one condition is there the resignation will be accepted by the central government uh, unless uh, there are three conditions are there for the three conditions right until the expiry of three months from the date of notice three months shall be elapsed or uh, until a person duly duly appointed as a successor 
in his place means any other person has been appointed in his place three months has been expired from the date of notice or any other person has been that is a successor has been appointed and until the expiry of his uh, tenure of office whichever is earliest these are three conditions in, in that case the central government will relinquish his office right then he is said to be resigned and coming to the removal removal uh, there are the uh, same like we have grounds in our uh, sebi members uh, here one point is extra icu abuse and financial interest right Right. adjudicating is insolvent same like uh, how say be physically or mentally incapable the board has been differentiated that is unsound mind and competent by the court right and convicted of an offense in the opinion of central government involves moral turpitude isolation has been abused has abused his position in the opinion of central government for continuing service uh, is detrimental to the interest of public interest or he acquired such financial interest or interest is likely to affect his position prejudicially his members as a prejudicial presiding officer or judicial member or technical member means the financial he has acquired some financial financial interest in the in his position uh, that he can prejudicially abuse that position to get advantage right that is the four five conditions the same like our our india the principle of natural justice is prevail that is the opportunity of being here shall be given for the last two, two points for icu points the principle of natural justice is not there because that is uh, can be seen uh, insolvent can be seen directly uh, insolvent can be seen by the court uh, competent court convicted shall also be seen the last two points shall have to be proved that, that that's why the principle of natural justice prevail here okay right? and coming to the next appeal to sat this section is uh, section 15t appeal to sat then appealable orders what are the appealable orders before the sat that secretary appellate tribunal whether the orders passed by the adjudicating authority or the cb on the orders passed by the irda that is our insurance regulatory development authority and pfrda that is pension fund regulatory development authority of india okay right? these are the four adjudicating adjudicating authority cb irda pfrda right on order is the time limit for uh, appeal once uh, the time limit is 45 days means 45 days on the date of order of receipt of the order of these uh, above four orders right he the sat can delay condone the delay for sufficient cause uh, there is no time limit for condonation and delay it can be for ever right and coming to the proceedings for filing the three copies that is irrelevant and if say be this the appeal has been filed in uh, sat uh, and the sat can uh, sat can do three things what are the three things same as it can confirm modify set asset what the, it can confirm modify set set asset here also the sat will give the principle of natural history that is the opportunity of being heard right and coming to the copy of orders after passing the copy order it has been sent to what are the four authorities that is say be adjudicating authority pfrda if irda parties to the appeal concerning adjudicating officer right if even the, if the part if the party has been agreed by the order of the sat it can go to supreme court Right, the Supreme Court, like any person agree with the order of the side, it will go for Supreme Court. The appeal is only for question of law. The question of fact, the final decision is of side. The question of law can go to Supreme Court. What is the time limit? Sixty days from the order of receipt, communication of the order, receipt of the order of the side, and it can delay for uh, another sixty days. Right. The structure is uh, adjudicating authority, adjudicating officer, or say be next comes the side, next comes to Supreme Court. We will see. Right, and coming to our next part, there is a penalty wala part. Penalty wala part, we have 15 series, 15A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, A, H, B, 24, and 15EA, 15AB. And we will go and discuss all these penalties. 15A, B, C, E, F, G. First, we will discuss what are the what are the particular section says. 15A, 15A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, H, B, 24, 15EA, 24EB. Right? A, A, A is books of accounts. B is uh, intermediary. C is grievances. D is collective investment scheme. And E is AMC. F is the uh, Register stock broker, G is insider, H is a person, and H A is fraudulent and unfair trade practices, and H B and 24 is like uh, complaints of complaints and contraventions of the rules and regulations of this particular act. Right? We'll discuss uh, once again A B C D E F G H H A H B 24. Books of accounts, A is books of accounts, A is books of accounts, B is intermediary, C is grievances, D is a uh, collective investment scheme, E is A M C. F is a registered stock broker. G is insider. H is person. H is fraudulent and unfair practices. H B is H B and 24 complaints and the contraventions. Here the important section is uh, F G, right? F G are very important. That is a uh, F is a registered stock broker. G is insider trading. Right? Coming to the 15A books of accounts means failure to furnish. There are two things: failure and false. Failure to furnish any documents, uh, return or support of to the SEBI, or false incorrect information, complete information to the SEBI, right? Or failure to file the return. First one is furnishing documents, for failure to furnish documents, false documents. Next one is failure to file the returns and false returns, incorrect information returns. 
and the phrase maintenance of books of account. This is A books of account. The penalty is a minimum one lakh and maximum is one lakh for each day for the failure subject to the max subject to the condition of maximum one crore. Minimum one lakh, one lakh per day, max one crore. Next one is 15B. 15B is our uh, intermediary. Failure by intermediary for entering any agreement with investors, right? In a manner so prescribed. Any intermediary has in entered into the agreement with his uh, client, uh, but that agreement has not been entered the terms and conditions have been prescribed the CB. Then all the penalty is there, the same penalty, minimum one lakh, maximum uh, one lakh per day, one crore. And 15, 15C is uh, grievances, right? The CB calls upon the SEBI calls upon the SEBI shall call the call to the particular company or intermediary to redress the grievances of the investors within specified time but that uh, investor has not uh, investor or intermediary like sorry not investor intermediary or a company has not solved the grievances of the investor then the SEBI can impose a penalty this uh, SEBI will call this information in um, notice right in written notice or electronic mail also it can call that is our 15 C grievances the same penalty is there minimum one crore minimum one lakh maximum one lakh per day one lakh and 15 D our is uh, books of accounts intermediate grievances correct investment scheme this is very important correct investment scheme is activated this time carrying on the correct investment scheme without obtaining certificate of registration right this is like mutual fund it has not obtained certificate of registration or a person registered with the SEBI to carry a correct investment scheme makes any of the following defaults first of all it has not it has not obtained the certificate of registration then it has obtained the certificate of registration but it has in the following defaults Failure to complete the terms and conditions of certificate of registration. It has failed to complete the certificate terms and conditions. And the failure to make an application of listing of its schemes. And failure to dispatch the unit certificates. Failure to refund the application money. Failure to invest money. Investment money. We will have discussed this in a sequence, right? First of all, the certificate of registration is not obtained. And second, uh, second case is it has obtained. Then it has completed some defaults. What the default? First thing, it has not complied with the certificate of registration terms and conditions. Next thing. Failure to make application for listing its schemes means the, that uh, what are the schemes in this particular collective investment scheme? It has failed to list. And next thing, it has failed to dispatch it units means the buyer will purchase the unit set. It has failed to dispatch the units or it has failed to refund the application money collected by the investors. And it has uh, or the money it has collected, it has failed to invest. Comply, failure to comply, failure to application for listing, failure to dispatch units, failure to refund the application monies, failure to investment money. The, Penalty is same, minimum 1 lakh, maximum 1 lakh per day, subject to 1 crore. And 15E is our asset management company. Failure to buy the asset management company of mutual fund to complete the regulations of the SEBI. The same penalty, 15D, minimum 1 lakh, 1 lakh per day, 1 crore. And that is next hour coming to the important one, that is 15F. 15F is very important. It is our relating to the registered stock broker. 15G is insider trading. 15F look, there are three points. Registered stock broker. A registered stock broker fails to deliver any security. Means he failed to deliver security or failed to make payment of the amount due to the investor. Then the penalty is same as above. That is 1 lakh uh, minimum 1 lakh minimum maximum 1 lakh per day subject to 1 crore. And 15F. A registered stock broker, another point. A registered stock broker fails to issue contract notes in the form and describe the SEBI regulation stock exchange. Right? That is a minimum 1 lakh penalty and maximum 1 crore the amount for which the contract note was uh, required to be issued. See, minimum 1 lakh, maximum 1 crore. There is an amendment here, minimum 1 lakh, maximum 1 crore. Contract, that is 1 lakh per day is not there here. Registered stock broker fa charges brokerage in excess of the brokerage issued in the regulation. Means, uh, first point is relating to the delivery of security and payment condition and second is contract notes and third one is brokerage. And he charges ex excess brokerage. Now the penalty is huge, minimum 1 lakh, maximum 5 times the amount of the brokerage right minimum one lakh maximum five times the amount of the brokerage and coming to the insider trading insider trading there are three conditions are there even the insider deals and the insider himself deals with the securities on upon unpublished price unpublished price sensitive information or else he has communicated such unpublished price information to other persons uh, and such person has deals with that uh, particular securities or else he come he counsels uh, or uh, procures for any other person to deal with the securities on the basis of unpublished price sensitive information then the penalty is huge the minimum, the minimum penalty is 10 lakh the maximum penalty is 25 crores for three times the amount of profit obtained from that such default whichever is suggested penalty is minimum 10 lakhs for insider trading maximum 25 crores or three times uh, whichever is three times the amount of profit and by whichever is higher and coming to next one, next one is 15 hc any person failure to disclose his aggregate of his shareholding in the body corporate before he acquires any shares of that body corporate same as over the insider trading penalty minimum 10 lakhs uh, maximum 25 crores or three times the amount of profit acquired uh, whichever is higher means any person has failed to disclose his shareholding before acquiring any shares in the particular body corporate or failure to make a public announcement to acquire the shares at the minimum price or failure to make a public offer by sending letter of offer to the shareholding to the concerned concern or failure to make a payment of the consideration the, 
to the shareholders right first of all failure to aggregate was he he hasn't shown disclosure his aggregate of shareholdings i hasn't make a public announcement then he has make a public offer a sending letter of it but he has not make the payment same as 15g or there is of insider trading 15h and coming to 15h there is very person indulges in any fraudulent and unfair trade practices relating to securities right 15h is there minimum this is this is a different penalty minimum 5 lakhs and maximum 25 crores or the tenth amount of the profit made out of the first default in our insider trading is 10 lakhs but here it is 5 lakhs and coming to hb 24 24 HB 15 HB and 24 clicks similar where a person fails to comply with the any provisions of this act rules made there under of which no separate penalty has been provided 15 HB is residuary and has failed to comply with the SEBI regulations and no penalty has been discussed and the penalty is minimum minimum 1 lakh maximum 1 crore 24 where a person fails to pay the penalty imposed with the to, there are two conditions in 24 where the person fails to pay penalty fails to pay the penalty of the adjudicating authority or uh, Like he has to, he has failed to comply the directions of the made by the adjudicator. Then, then the penalty and imprisonment is, imprisonment is one month to ten years, and the penalty is up to twenty-five crores or more. See, imprisonment is here is there one month to ten years, penalty twenty-five crores. Right? And twenty-four. The another point is, uh, if any person uh, without prejudice to the penalty levied by the adjudicating officer, if any person contravenes or attempts to contravene or abets the contravention of the provisions of this act or if any rules or regulations made thereunder, the penalty is uh, imprisonment is ten crores and penalty is up to twenty-five crores or both. right and coming to there are two other sections at 15e and 15eb 15e e e is related to the alternate investment funds infrastructure investment funds real estate funds failure to comply the directions minimum lack maximum lack per day one crore sub to maximum of one crore and three times the amount of gain which every is higher and 15eb is investor investment advisor or research analyst fails to comply with the regulations made by the sebi or directions issued by sebi minimum lack maximum lack per day sub to one crore limit right Right, and coming to our uh, mistakes, valla part. It is the power with respect to the SEBI for inspection of books of accounts and documents. Right, the board may may undertake uh, inspection of books of accounts of the of what the uh, public uh, listed company or uh, the company which is going to be listed. If there is no going to believe that uh, it is involved in insider trading or unfair trade practices, fraud and unfair trade practices. There is the power of uh, power with respect to inspection of books of accounts. For in case of public uh, listed company. There is a listed public company, and public company in which intends to get securities listed under the Stock Exchange. And the board has reasonable grounds to believe that it has involved in involved in insider trading or fraudulent, unfair trade practices. Then the board can go for inspection. Right, and coming to this point, there is our uh, powers of order by the board. Uh, board upon uh, in the reason for writing uh, in writing, they can pass his orders uh, upon conclusion of the investigation, inspection, uh, or inquiry. Right. What are the orders can be passed? Uh, there are two suspends, one retain and one uh, restrict. Uh, one retain, one restrict. Restrain. Two suspend, one retain, one restrain. Attach, direct. Two suspend, restrain, retain, attach, direct. Right. Suspend what? Suspend the trading of security, trading of any security regarding the stock exchange, and suspend of office bearer. of the stock taking as self regulated authority for holding such position you can suspend the trading of any security or you can suspend the office bearer of the stock taking as self regulated authority from such position and next one is a restrain restrain the person from accessing securities market and prohibit any person to buy or sell in the securities market you can restrain from accessing any any person and next one is retain impound and retain the proceeds of securities in respect of the transaction which is under investigation it can impound and retain the securities right to suspend restrain and retain attach definitely attach attach for a period of 90 days payment is there not exceeding 90 days bank account or the property of an intermediary or any person who is connected with the securities market of which he thinks that he has done for violations of the act regulations rules there under right within 90 days uh, this board has to make an application to the special court which has been born on form under section 26 of this uh, act having the jurisdiction and confirmation such attachment shall continue during the proceedings uh, of this particular investigation and of that investigation uh, section 28a shall prevail there is our recovery proceeding shall be prevail and provided that the, the property and the bank account shall only be retained uh, only the such property which has in connection with the violation right that is point and second one is direct uh, direct any intermediary or any person associated with the security security market in a manner that uh, they do not uh, they do not dispose or eliminate Asset forming part of transaction, which is under investigation, means the asset which is forming the part of investigation. Such asset, the such property shall not be disposed of. That property shall not be alienated. That means separated, right? Before following passing any order, uh, 
that is our India, that is natural, natural principle justice, that is the opportunity of being held shall be given. To suspend, one restrain, retain, attach, direct. Suspend trading activity, suspend office bearer, re restrain person from accessing the securities market, retain the securities uh, of which is having investigation, direct attach the for 90 days, special code 26 uh, recovery, right? Direct uh, for uh, the property is under investigation, not to so not to mean not to dispose, not to alienate. Principle of opportunity of being held. The SEBI has the power, uh, means one more unimportant point, MCQ point. SEBI has, it shall be open to the SEBI to inspect all reasonable time suits of account and other documents to be maintained in the stock exchange for a period not exceeding 5 years as been prescribed in the public interest and in the interest of the trade by central government. Means the books account should be kept for a period of 5 years. The, those books accounts shall be inspected by the SEBI, right? For the books account period of stock again 5 years. And our next point is the uh, section 11a both to regulate or prohibit issue of prospectus or of document or advertisement soliciting money for the issue of securities right it can do two things it can regulate it can prohibit it can regulate uh, as per section the board may for the protection of investors uh, regulate uh, specify the regulations uh, to the matters related to the issue of capital transfer of securities and other matters incidental thereto and the manner in which they matter shall be disclosed by the companies this is the regulation and the sec second point is uh, regulation is the matters related to the issue of capital transfer securities and any incident matter thereto and the manner in which such a matter shall be disclosed by the companies and next one is uh, that is prohibition prohibition shall be made by the uh, board by passing general or special order prohibit any company for issuing prospects any of a document advertising soliciting money from the public for those securities uh, and actually specify the conditions up to which the it can do two things it can entirely prohibit or else it can give import that is, it can give conditions. It can specify the conditions subject to the property such offer documents may be issued. Right? The board may specify the requirement for listing the transfer of securities and other materials incidental. That this is 11A. It can regulate or prohibit issue of prospectus. 11A. General Special Order Regulations. Right? Coming to our collective investment scheme, that is Section 11. A. a scheme or any arrangement which satisfies the conditions of the specified in subsection 2 or subsection 2a shall be collective investment scheme. What are the conditions means? Uh, see, the corpus amount of uh, collective investment scheme shall be 100 crores. Uh, see, 100 crores. And the requisite conditions are the contribution shall be made and the, it, it shall be pooled for the purpose of creation of the scheme or arrangement. And the contribution made by the investors shall be with the view to gain profit, income, or produce property, whether mobile or immobile property. And the next one is uh, to that. Uh, the property and contribution investment frame cut off whether that identifier is, is managed on behalf of the investors and the investor do not take part in the decision making that is day to day control of the management operation of the scheme arrangement and any such scheme arrangement may refer by the person satisfying conditions as may be specified and according to the regulations made the render or the first one is pooled investors next one is investors on investors may not be to profit investors on behalf of investors and next one is that they do not control <coughs> the day to day operations and also the following person shall not be the shall not be considered as the Collective investment scheme that is cooperative NBFC insurance EPF uh, deposits and needy check funds mutual funds. And next one is power to issue direction that is our section 11B. The saver that is provided in section 11 if, uh, if after making or causing to be made any inquiry the board is power satisfied necessary it can issue directions in the interest of the investor. There are three points are there in the interest of the investor the audit development of the securities market first is interest uh, and to prevent the office of the any intermediate other persons referred to the section 12 being connected in a manner which will determine the public interest investors or securities right so three points are there first of the interest of investors or audited open securities market to prevent the any affairs of the intermediate persons which are determined to the investors or securities market and to secure the proper management of investors such intermediary or persons what are the three points for issue of directions uh, for the interest of the investors for the proper development of securities to prevent affairs of the any intermediary or other persons referred in section uh, being connected in a manner determined to the interest of the investors or securities market or to secure the proper management of any which intermediary. Right? There is an explanation for this particular thing. The explanation is for removal of doubts, it is hereby declared that the power to issue directions under this class section shall include always be deemed to have been included the power to direct means what are the whatever the direction is issued shall always deem to have been included the power to direct the any person who made a profit or averted loss by indulging in a transaction or activity contrary to the provisions of the act regulation they made under to discourse an amount which has been equivalent to the amount of wrongful gain or made or loss averted by such contravention very simple means what are the issue directions it means it also deem to include that any person who has uh, means who has made profit or averted loss means he has made profit or he has reduced his loss by any internet which are violated of the term acts rules regulations and also to disgorge means a part take part of means that amount shall be disgorged mean written back to the particular person disgorge the amount wrongful gain or made loss by such contravention 
And now next one is the prohibition of planet period and deceptive devices inside a trading and substantial acquisition of securities. There is a section 12, very important section. Uh, no person shall direct or indirectly, there are four points are there. Use or employ in connection with the issue, purchase, sale of a securities listed or proposed to be listed, the king's operation of any manipulative or deceptive devices or contravenes of the contravention of the act rules made relation thereof, or employ any device, a scheme, or artifice to defraud in the connection with the issue or dealing with the securities which are listed or going to be listed in the current stock exchange. The next one is uh, uh, engage in insider trading or deals in securities or communicate or counsels for that is we have discussed. And our control, acquire control of a company on the securities more than the percentage of equity shares of the company whose securities are listed to going to be listed in the current stock exchange in the contract in the region to meet their under. Right? This is about a quality. There is a contract is there. No company, shall, no person shall do this. Sir. Next one is the finance accounts and audit. That is section 13. Uh, what are the, uh, the funds of the SEBI will be received by the government grants? Right? Any sums are issued by the board from such funds other sources have been decided by the central government. Right? It has a fund account, it is called a security section but a fund for general fund. The grants shall be credited to this fund and also any sums issued by this board. And what are the, these funds used for the salaries and elements of the employees of the SEBI, that is members of the SEBI, officers uh, and actions of the board in discharge of its functions and actions of objects for the purpose of authorized act. And then financial statement shall be prepared. Right? The COG will do the honor and the audit also will be read by the COG. The same lesson privileges, control and general auditor of India. Right? This is not very important. Right, coming to here, the appointment of judicial person, judicial member. We have discussed it, the uh, composition of SAT, uh, preceding judicial, technical. In that appointment, judicial member, that is appointment of preceding officer in the judicial member is done by the, of SAT, is, that is secretary of the tribunal, is done by the central with consideration of the chief justice of uh, India or his nominee, right? Uh, whereas the appointment of technical member is done by the such and selection committee recommendations, right? Such that the, the technical members of the secretary separate tribunal will be appointed by the central government on the recommendations, uh, on the recommendations of uh, such and select, such come selection committee. The, the such and selection committee has the following constitution. Presiding officer of the SAT means the SAT presiding officer, the secretary, three secretaries are there. Secretary Department of Economic Affairs, uh, Secretary Department of uh, Financial Services, Secretary Legislative Department, uh, that is Legal Affairs Department. Uh, Department of Legal Affairs, there are three departments, Secretary of uh, Economic Affairs, Secretary of Financial Services, Secretary of uh, Department of Legal Affairs. Uh, hmm. Next, the Secretary of Security or Department of Economic Affairs shall be the convener. Economic Affairs shall be the convener of the such come selection committee. The such come selection committee shall determine the procedure in recommending the prime subject. Right, this is very important. Such come selection committee for the constitution, presiding officer the SAT, three secretaries, secretaries of uh, economic uh, affairs, secretaries of Department of Financial Services, of legal affairs, legal affairs. And economic uh, affairs will be the convener of the such come selection committee. Right. Right, the vacancy, the vacancy of this uh, presiding officer, technical and judicial member shall be filled by the central government only if it is a permanent vacancy. Right, the central government will fill the person in accordance with the provisions of this act to fill the vacancy. And uh, if there is a vacancy caused by the presiding officer uh, of his death resignation or otherwise, uh, right, then the senior most judicial member of the secretary of the shall act as presiding officer until the date of a uh, new presiding officer is appointed. Right, this is different from where we have discussed with that. Uh, Chairman will appoint that is we can we'll choose, but here it's senior most. Right, we have very three important questions pending. That is power to power of central government to supersede uh, the SEBI and uh, power to grant immunity and uh, our recovery. Recovery of amount and section 28. First, we'll discuss about the power to central government to supersede uh, the board. If at any time the central government is open opinion that the board is unable to perform its functions, it will notification supersede the board of such force not exceeding six months. The, sup, the board, the central government shall supersede the uh, security section board of India for, at, for six months only. Right? If it is if it unable to function, the, if the central government thinks that it is unable to perform its function, then only the central, the central government can supersede the board for a period of not exceeding six months. What are the reasons? There are four. Uh, one, two, three, four. There are four reasons. Uh, for this, uh, the central government supersede the four reasons are very important reasons on account of grave emergency. The board is unable to discharge its functions and uh, duties. Uh, right, first one is grave, grave emergency. The board has uh, persistently made default in completing the, any directions issued by the central government. And the second point that the third point is default in discharge of functions of duties and impose the provisions of this act. Uh, in such default, the financial position of the board or the administration of the board is deteriorated. Is third point the fourth point the circumstances exist which the render is necessary in the public interest to do so right what are the four points the four points are uh, grave emergency the first point is grave 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 emergency and the board is uh, unable to perform its function the second point is uh, persistently made default it means the board has done 
quantity done default uh, for the direction distribution argument and third one is a uh, default it has a uh, default in the discharge of function the board has done default discharge of function which is in the financial position of the board and the administration of the board has been deteriorated and the fourth point is the public interest what are the four points grave emergency persistently done default the defaults caused financial position administration deteriorated and public interest right these are the four removal reasons for that uh, supersede and coming to the effect of publication of notification to superseding the board what is the effect generally the, what are the what are the powers best with the sebi will come to the central government we will see the powers there are three effects all members shall as for the date of suspension vacate their offices means that the members of the sebi has to vacate their offices from the date of a super session right first one is vacation all the members of the board all the powers functions duties which may by under the provisions of this act be exercised discharged by the member of the board shall until the board is reconstituted be exercised by the board person or appointed by the central government means what the powers duties of members uh, has been uh, has been um, doing so before the this order uh, the same but central government will appoint one person and uh, that per that powers be carried out by this uh, particular thing the first one is uh, the members will get and powers duties uh, and third one all property owned and controlled by the board shall until the board is reconstituted again after 6 months uh, will be with the central government right like this order shall this uh, supervision shall not be done just like that central government shall cause a full report of any action taken in this session and circumstances regarding such action we will let file before the that our two houses of parliament that is lok sabha rajya sabha after reconstitution uh, reconstitution the board by fresh appointment and in such case any person who has been vacated of office shall not be deemed to be disqualified this is very important and coming to the returns and reports uh, means every year financial year the board has to submit uh, returns uh, within 90 days of the end of the financial year true and full account of activities policies or programs taken those returns shall be made placed in the each house of uh, parliament that is lok sabha and rajya sabha and next coming to our next question the protection of action taken in good faith means what are the actions taken by the central government or board or members of the central government any officer of the central government or any member officer of the board uh, shall be for anything which is in good faith uh, done or intended to be done under the act uh, rules regulations uh, no suit prosecution or legal proceeding shall lie against means uh, protection has been granted under section 23 good faith uh, who for whom central government board uh, members of central government that is officers of central government and members uh, officers employees of board uh, which has in good faith or intend to be done uh, no suit prosecution shall lie against that person right and coming to the next important one uh, the power to grant uh, immunity like immunity means that uh, we'll read this right the central government may on recommendation of the board uh, mean the central government will get recommendation from the sebi if the central government is satisfied that any person who is alleged to have violated any of the provisions of this act has made full and true disclosures means uh, first of all the sebi will go to central government and, and recommend central government that this person has made full disclosures to us uh, we can give immunity right then of alleged violation then the central government will grant uh, such to such person subject to such conditions uh, as it think fit to impose immunity from prosecution for any offense under this act or rules there remain under or from imposition of any penalty under this act or provision immunity can be given for prosecution or immunity can be given for penalty exception provided that no such immunity shall be granted by the central government in, a, in the cases where the proceedings of this prosecution for any such offense have been initiated before the date of receipt of application by the grant of such immunity right there is an exception here immunity shall not be given when central government that the proceedings of the prosecution for any such offense proceedings of prosecution is such an as an instituted before means uh, the, before the grant of such immunity before the application for granting of such immunity uh, the proceedings for uh, prosecution has been uh, granted then the immunity cannot be given right first what will do the board will come to the central government and it will, it will give recommendations this party has given us full and true disclosures of the alleged, alleged violation you can grant immunity to the particular with, with conditions as you may de- deem fit uh, immunity towards prosecution immunity towards penalty exception the prosecution pros- prosecution proceedings has been started before uh, the application of grant of immunity then no immunity shall be given right provided for that, that the recommendation of the board under this uh, sufficient means the board will recommend the central government, central government right that is not uh, binding on central government means here the central government is highest authority and coming to our next one withdrawal of uh, granting withdrawal of granted immunity by central government so immunity granted to the person may at any time withdrawn by central government when in the course of not complied with the conditions or uh, immunity has been granted with a uh, false evidence 
in that case it can be with the draw the same uh, position before the position it will come right and coming to our last point that is very important point that is our uh, recovery of amount under section uh, 28a if a person fails to pay if a person fails to pay the penalty imposed by the adjudicating officer or fails to comply with any direction of the board see here if, the, if, if a person fails to pay the penalty imposed by the adjudicating officer or fails to comply the direction of the board for the refund of money or fails recovery means say the money should be involved what are the first point fails to pay the penalty of uh, adjudicating officer or fails to comply the direction of refunding the money right refunding the money money involved and to and to fail to comply the direction of disgorgement order three orders are there adjudicating officer direction of the refund of monies disgorgement order fails to any fees of the board and the recovering officer may drop the statement means the recovery officer will be appointed and the recovery officer will drop a signature statement uh, containing the amount uh, right amount due to from such person this can be called a certificate the shall proceed to recover the from such person the amount received in the certificate uh, by one or more of the following ways first one he shall attach the he shall attach and sell the person movable property attach and sell the person movable property attach a person bank account arrest the person and detain him in prison appointing officer for the management of the person's movable money attachment of attachment and sale of movable and immovable property attachment of person bank account arrest the person appoint a recovery officer for management of movable and immovable property right and also then an explanation has been given for the purpose of this section and the person's immovable or immovable property held in the bank account shall include means that this person will transfer right this bank account uh, will transfer to another person like uh, his uh, spouse to to his spouse or minor child or son's wife or son's minor child otherwise than for adequate consideration what the thing spouse minor child son's wife son's minor child spouse minor child son's wife son's minor child adequate consideration kaun other way than adequate consideration then it shall be included in the, it should be included in this person only even though if that uh, while transferring he is a minor after he is major then also it will not apply and also the recurring officer shall take the help of uh, local administration work right that's it